Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to the ones that are new. In this video I'm going to be assembling a haul tree and changing some things around. Hope you can stay and watch. As I'm assembling my haul tree I just wanted to let you guys know how I've been redecorating my entryway and my hall tree is um, matching the uh, table that I did assemble on my last video. If you didn't see it, please go back and see it. As I'm uh, finishing my hall tree, I just wanted to let you guys know how in front by the entrance uh, before I had two chairs and a different table, but I'm since I'm changing it, I want uh, for things to be more spacious by moving the bigger furniture that I had there by my entryway. I'll be posting up a picture of my entryway before and how much more spacious it'll look and yet more practical. I'm almost finished with a hall tree and I believe that it's going to be more convenient because it has um, the racks on the bottom to put some shoes and it has the hooks on the top so that you can hang some purses or coats. It'll be a little more convenient for the entryway so that uh, people walking in can leave their items. I'll be putting up some pictures of the before of how I had my entryway and how it looks with a new table and a uh, hall tree. Here's the finished hall tree. It's exactly the same material like the entry table I built on my last video. I'll be showing you uh, the difference on um, how any changes in your entryway do make a big difference. I'm also going to be changing some chairs around. I'm going to be putting the entry chairs that I had around my breakfast nook and taking the out uh, the chairs that I had on my breakfast nook and putting them on my dining table and let's see how it turns out. I'm also going to be changing the pillows. The pillows that I'm showing here are the black and white checkered. Those are the uh, pillows that I had on my entryway on top of my chairs. And the other ones I had in my bedroom, but I've decided to change them for the ones that I had here. And see how it turns out. Here's uh, how it turned out. Um, any little change that you make to your house of moving furniture, pillows, etc. does make a difference. So take chances and see how any little difference you make uh, does make a big difference as to how everything looks.
This is the next day and I'm making some uh, American cheese enchiladas. I usually do make them with ground beef but uh, this is an easier way and more convenient and it's faster. The only thing I would recommend is for you to be careful with your cans and also after you make the sauce um, just wait a couple of minutes before because the sauce is hot and you wouldn't want to burn yourself but here's the video hope you enjoy it uh, here is the type of um, chili wolf with no beans that I use and um, I might not be using the proper way I should have uh, removed the whole lid on the can but for some reason I'm just used to just leaving the lid on it uh, so be careful if you do um, open your cans the same way because sometimes the edges are sharp and I'm just uh, adding um, a whole bottle of water and then putting both cans and then I'm gonna be adding some uh, Nor um, Suiza uh, Consomme and um, uh, it all depends on how much of that Nor Suiza you would want to add on yours uh, for me I usually do uh, enjoy making it that way here I am putting some sauce on the bottom of the pan that's just so that the enchiladas won't get stuck to the bottom of the pan I'm gonna be uh, putting them together rolling them and then at the end I'm gonna be topping them off with some uh, cheese but before you start make sure that your sauce is not hot you don't you just don't want to get burned um, and that's all After, after you finish putting the cheese you're gonna top it off uh, with some sauce on top and then I'm gonna be covering them up and then I'm gonna be putting them in the oven at 375 for 30 minutes I'm also gonna be making some rice and I'm sure a lot of you already know how to make rice but this is the way I make the rice I first put the oil then as soon as the oil is ready I put in my rice then I mix it to where I see that it's a little bit crispy and then I lower my uh, stove top I use uh, water bottles I'm not sure how you all do it but I usually do it with a water bottle and you need to be careful because you don't want for your water bottle to melt I usually put three which is like six cups of water and this is for one box of uh, rice then I put some uh, nor uh, for flavor and then I just top it I and I put it on um, low and I just leave it on the stove after I mix it I leave it on the stove for 30 minutes after I have my rice already cooking I decided to put some um, corn and green beans I just put butter and then uh, I put the green beans and the corn and like always be careful with your cans because I have the ugly habit of just leaving the top on and that's very dangerous so I would recommend for you all to take off the top and here are the enchiladas after the 30 minutes they look delicious I'm starting already to take some out because I um, told my daughter that I was making some so I'm just taking some out to um, serve her in a container so that she could take So I'm serving uh, my daughter some green beans and corn and some rice so that she can take 
and I would really like to know how other people make their uh, American enchiladas and what sides they like um, when they make them. Thank you for watching my video and that's all for today. Hope you all enjoyed it and uh, may God bless you. Take care.